what is up youtube back with another video today i will show you how to make this halftone pattern effect in photoshop for this one we won't need any extra plugins so let's go first things first create a new file this is gonna be 1500 by 1500 halftone pattern is gonna be the name of this project go ahead invert the background layer to be black add a new layer call this subject convert this to a smart object double click to open it and here within the smart object go ahead to file place embedded i actually use the shortcut command p to place a photo we're gonna select the file adjust the size close the smart object and save before we start applying the effect make sure your colors are selected to black and white you can hit d on your keyboard to change them automatically if it's something else then select the layer with the subject go to filter filter gallery the first filter we're going to select is reticulation make the adjustments so that you can still see some of the details in the photo mess with the foreground level and the background level for the density i'll go with 11 and then hit this plus icon to add another filter this one is going to be half tone pattern we're gonna adjust the size so it doesn't look too blurry and then for the contrast just make sure you don't burn the photo so choose a value that's gonna be balanced the pattern type has to be dot add the last filter this one is gonna be grain under the texture folder for this one keep the contrast at 50 and just play with the intensity then go ahead and choose ok if we zoom in we can see that the grain effect has some colors to it to get rid of that add another adjustment layer black and white and make it a clipping mask Ask to the layer with the subject whenever we want to make changes to the filter we just double click here select the filter we want to make changes to and then just update that accordingly another thing which is optional is to add a gradient map if you think that's going to look better go ahead hit the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map and choose something that you like awesome this is with and this is without to change the photo with the effect applied double click on the subject layer within this smart object we just have to place another photo and hide the other one every photo comes with different light conditions so this is why you're probably going to have to make adjustments to the reticulation and the half tone pattern effect as well a good example is this sunflower photo we can see that the details in the center are kind of lost so to adjust that go ahead within the subject add a level slayer just mask out the center and make that brighter another example would be this photo of a bird we can see that the photo is pretty flat and then for the foreground level and the background level we're going to make this adjustment foreground level all the way to 50 and background level all the way to zero and i think this looks best for this particular photo so yeah from this point on you can just go crazy with the design as you can see i kind of added the reticulation effect to some text as well i'll place some text on top of the design change the color whatever you think is going to make your design pop and finally after all the processing the design looks something like like this so that was it guys another effect for you in photoshop half tone pattern effect a pretty nice one if you have any observations or questions reach out through the platforms i've posted in the description below make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more content and have a blessed day